오늘의 뉴스는 미국의 대규모 추가적인 투자를 계획하고 있는 현대자동차에 관한 소식입니다. 투자 규모와 투자 분야는 어떻게 되는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. The South Korean car giant Hyundai says it plans to invest an additional $5 billion in the United States to strengthen collaboration in advanced technology. The investment, finalized during the visits to Seoul by Joe Biden, is in areas including robotics and autonomous vehicles. The South Korean car giant Hyundai says it plans to invest an additional $5 billion in the United States to strengthen collaboration in advanced technology. The investment, finalized during the visits to Seoul by Joe Biden, is in areas including robotics and autonomous vehicles. 오늘의 뉴스는 영국 프리미어리그 득점왕에 오른 손흥민 선수의 인터뷰입니다. Son, congratulations. You've ended the season as a joint top scorer in the Premier League alongside Mohamed Salah. Firstly, show us the trophy and tell me how good does it feel? Yeah, first of all, it's really heavy. I didn't expect, <laughs> I didn't expect that was that, that heavy and uh, it feels amazing. And when I saw it first time, I, I felt like a little bit emotional because when I was a kid, uh, I was dreaming for it. And as soon as when I had it in hand, I couldn't believe it. And still, I don't believe it is in my hand. So, I mean, it was an unbelievable achievement, but I'm really grateful for the teammates and so the, the sport and coaching staff, everyone who is helping me. Well, you have to believe it because you have ended with 23 Premier League goals this season. I mean, what was the secret behind your success this season? Because you've had such a sensational campaign. I mean, lots, lot. I mean, it was ups and downs, ups and downs. But uh, I was always, uh, I think everyone was uh, in their head. Uh, there was always uh, space to improve. And we believed that. And yeah, as soon as uh, I think new manager comes, I think every, every, everything has been has been changed. And yeah, it was incredible. I mean, there is no secret. I think it's always hard work and uh, believe in ourselves. And that is massive, massive secret. Do you feel this is the peak performance levels that you're performing at every single game at the moment? I think we could. I think we still still do better because I believe the team and I know how the guys have a quality and I think I believe so much on on this team. I think we should be not happy. I, I mean, happy to be in the champ, Champions League, but I mean, we could do much much better than what we done. And because it was ups and downs, especially this season and next season, we need to be preparing really well pre-season. And I think I can't wait for get start for next season. And just going back to your individual performance today, I mean, you had a couple of shots saved by Tim Crow. Did it feel like it might not be your day? Uh, yeah, <laughs> if, I'm, if, if, I'm, if I'm honest. Uh, I was like laughing, you know, because when, when he made a save and when the ball came again to me and then I missed it from maybe one yard and I thought like I was laughing because I couldn't be like disappointed and angry because it was just ball hit me and then to be honest, I was a little bit uh, frustrated with because normally this chance I should I should uh, score, but everyone just told me, hey, "Sonny, you, you got you got this and believe in yourself." And that's why I started to believe. And finally, I got the first goal. And today, I told everyone, "Yeah, I missed the easiest chance today, but difficult to want to score." So everyone was <laughs> laughing. So I mean, it was a, was a great great day for me. Yeah, absolutely. Two goals in six minutes. I mean. What were the celebrations like in front of the Spurs fans for that second goal? Because it was stunning. I don't know. I don't know what I did. And everyone was just hitting me when I was on the floor. So I don't know if uh, tomorrow maybe I walk up and I have a blue eyes and because I get so much punches in my face when I was on and the floor. How are you feeling at the moment? I know you, you look like you've got an injury. Uh, are you going to be okay for the international games? Yeah. To be honest, I'm, it's not important. It's the last game of the season. So no, it was just, uh, I think it was just cramp and because I give everything today and yeah, I think it's, I should be fine for the international. Can't play for the, can't wait to play for again for South Korea. Well, Son, congratulations again. It's deserved success. Enjoy the celebrations as well. Thank you very much. Eh? Have a great day. 오늘의 뉴스는 러시아 야당 지도자 알렉세이 나발리에 관한 소식입니다. 푸틴 대통령과 그가 일으킨 우크라이나 전쟁에 대해 어떤 언급을 했는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. Russia's leading opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, has told a Moscow court that President Putin was a madman who'd started what he called a stupid war in Ukraine based on lies. He predicted Mr Putin would suffer a historic defeat. Russia's leading opposition figure, Alexei Navalny, has told a Moscow court that President Putin was a madman who'd started what he called a stupid war in Ukraine based on lies. He predicted Mr Putin would suffer a historic defeat. 오늘의 뉴스는 미국 제약회사 파이자의 발표에 관한 소식입니다. 
어떤 내용을 담고 있는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. The US pharmaceutical giant Pfizer says it will sell all of its patented drugs and vaccines at non-profit prices to the world's poorest countries. 45 countries will benefit, covering a total of more than a billion people. All future Pfizer drugs will also be included. The US pharmaceutical giant Pfizer says it will sell all of its patented drugs and vaccines at non-profit prices to the world's poorest countries. 45 countries will benefit, covering a total of more than a billion people. All future Pfizer drugs will also be included. 오늘의 뉴스는 초소형 미니 로봇에 관한 소식입니다. 누가 개발했으며 크기는 얼마나 되고 어떤 움직임을 할수 있는지 알아보시기 바랍니다. A robot smaller than a flea has been developed by scientists in the US. The remote control device can crawl, walk, turn and jump and could be used for medical purposes. BBC News. A robot smaller than a flea has been developed by scientists in the US. The remote control device can crawl, walk, turn and jump and could be used for medical purposes. BBC News. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다.